What's up guys and welcome back to the WR channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to become a human kite after the patch will be 28 and the patch will be 26. So with that being said, let's jump straight into the video. Alrighty guys, so welcome back and how are you guys doing today? I know it's kind of a late video, but I wanted to bring you guys this brand new glitch that will allow you guys to become a human kite after the patch will be 28 and the patch will be 26. And of course, the founder is from 7cents.com, so I have a link down in my description down below to the official link or the official forum where he just posted on 7cents.com. So definitely go down to the description down below and give him some credit. But anyway guys, starting off here, what you guys gotta do is come to any train within GTA 5 Online. It can be moving and it can be parked, but just keep in mind, it cannot be blown up or actually kill the driver and like that. It has to be moving at some point to actually complete the glitch. But once you guys find a train, what you guys gotta do is manage to actually get on top of the train or actually inside of the train without actually blowing it up. So, what you guys can do is either parachute onto it or do the glitch where you guys stand next to it and actually jump on top of it and for some reason, it puts you guys on top of the train without actually dying. But once you guys manage to get yourself on top of the train or actually inside the train, what you guys gotta do is either come to the front where the engine is or come to one of the cargo freights and that's it. So once you guys get to one of these cargo freights or the engine part, what you guys gotta do is simply come to a location like this and actually do like when I'm doing the background video, it's kind of hard to explain, but essentially what's going to happen is simply you're going to lean up against the wall, then take out your weapon, and actually turn it around until you guys face the car once again, or the engine, and for some reason you guys slowly fall down into the ground, and don't worry about that guys, once you guys hit the ground, you will not move. So, once again, once you guys get to the engine part or the cargo place, what you guys going to do is actually lean up against the wall and walk all the way to the edge, take out your weapon, and then proceed to turn all the way around until you guys are facing the car once again. And then for some reason, you guys will slowly fall to the ground and that's it. So, once you guys are on the ground, do not move and do not stop aiming. So, this entire time you guys will be aiming, so just keep that in mind. Do not stop aiming until the train actually starts to pull you as a flight glitch, or the parachute glitch, or the freaking kite glitch, whatever you guys want to call it. So it's kind of hard to explain, but I promise you guys, it's pretty damn easy to do. And I'll have a link down in the description down below once again to the actual tech tutorial in case you guys cannot understand my commentary. But anyway guys, what's going to happen is simply, once you guys get to the ground where you guys are still aiming, and the train fully passes you for some reason, it'll actually bring you guys along, allowing you guys to actually do a kite glitch. So it's just one of those glitches to have fun with GTA 5 with your buddies, it's actually extremely harmless, you guys will not get banned for this whatsoever, you're not doing a money glitch or anything like that, you're just simply glitching the game out to make you fly, and actually register your stuff so on the train, even if you guys are not even on the train. So overall, it's an amazing glitch, and once again, the final will be linked down in the description down below to a 7 cents forum where he just posted this on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this late night video, if you guys did, let's try to you for a massive like off 100 likes for this amazing glitch. But with that said, we have come to the end of it once again guys, but don't worry, I'll see you guys there with a more GTA 5 video. Make sure to check out my brand new channel for lots of exclusive content on Xbox One games. But like I said, that's all for today's video, this is Happiness, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good day guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow with two more brand new GTA 5 videos.